know me can't chat points people with just about it. All right. Since I'm interested, hey. when we reach the coronation market, we see one big head of a crowd. And everybody have all out. Fight! Fight! I take your time with me, the man. That's what you're talking So, before we go do my little investigation, yes. now, girl, if you see that, I see one woman. Tell the policeman where me there. Yeah, I would have trump out, you know, but maybe come over the contact to you. <laughs> Come on, tell mama, I said, what am I going to do? 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 What am I going
I sleep in tablet and sugar. <laughs> I'm in love when we are poor, daddy, and it's teacher now. <laughs> we hear one holy man, and they might talk to themselves, some say, oh, wow, man. So you know, so anytime somebody will whisper around, you know, I talk, they might talk about you. <laughs> so I mean, this guy said, you want to know, so the doctor might say, you really want to know, he said, yes. Then show me one picture. What we do with Mama Grandway? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Not only that, when we look for the baby, the cash up in the slipper, the baby got 60. Psycho! Give me up. Give me up, please. And the doctor said the reason why we feel the pain, and I just stop. I just pick off the baby back. <laughs>
news. Your Toyota deal is extended. You are listening to Humble Lion Radio on your FT dial. News flash, news flash, news flash, special report on Humble Lion Radio. It seems the two roosters, the two chickens who were involved in the mysterious unsolved mystery of the slaying of dancehall icon Gerald Levy, a.k.a. Mr. Wacky, a.k.a. Bogle, were stolen from the halfway tree police station. <laughs> stationed at the halfway tree police station said a female suspect wearing a shocking colored green tights outfit was seen leaving the crime scene just before the crime. And now we return to our regularly scheduled programming. The Voice of the Street. The time is 7 p.m. It's now time for your 6 o'clock news. In the news, it's been one week since the notorious girlie attacked the vendor at the Coronation Market. Reports from the KPH are that the lady is still in a coma. Allegedly, the notorious girlie was spotted at the same crime scene. One witness said that about 16 of the victim's family members, quote, rushed girlie. At the time, girlie was walking with Joe Hamilton, who is also a member of the girlie gang. Allegedly, Gurley and her gang members, quote, pop off and fired several shots from their M16 pump rifle revolvers. Humble Lion Radio has been asked to announce that the police are offering a $20,000 reward for the capture of Gurley, and the victim's family members are offering $100,000 for the capture of Gurley, dead or alive. Investigations are still in progress, but it is suspected that Gurley and her gang members reside at 1313 Bedford Crescent. Uh, this, this just in, this just in, the Humble Lion Radio has obtained the names of two more members of the notorious Gurley gang. They are Donna Francis and the infamous Ma Pearl Francis.
stand down on the mat. She can't sell lame brand clothes like how me wear. I must put the clothes she have because every day they go come, you up your little snook, what you do here? What you have to back out
going to do some extra for my head. Call to look like say girl is losing school. But anyway, all you have done was to say girl is losing all of them in school. They lost. Dance. 
I can get on back. She's up here, she's all here. I come to eat too. Check one, two. Are you there? You're going to come. Check one, two. Then, Nana, I'm glad to say you're going to come. You're going to watch things, girl, you're dead. I will pick up your face. Now, Mr. Big Guy, I'm going to tell you little boy, I'm going to tell you when you're going to come. Give me the mic. 
guy who brilliantly portrayed the bad man, bad man number one who shot up the dance, yours truly, Naya. Thank you very much, I know I'm very excited. One word to sum up the show or the whole girl character. Awesome. Play it right here. Use one word to sum up girly. Oh, he's awesome. He's incredible. Hilarious. I love him. Use one word to sum up the show. Hilarious. Yeah. What are you name? And what are you name? Althea. Beautiful. Thank you guys very much. We love when you support. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a good word. That's a good word. What's your name? I'm Daisy. Hi, Patrick. How are you? How are you doing? I'm a little bit excited this evening. Right, it is an excitement here today. If you could use, say one word that could, uh, you know, make up the show, what would you say? Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. That's yes, right. Um, the production is well done. Of course, I like um, Lassell's production. I've seen a play that he have done before, written and directed. And of course, I must say this is very tremendous. The people like it very much. And of course, it's the first sold out audience I've ever seen at the Richard Green School. Being at Link Up Radio all these years, I've seen a lot of plays and myself did a little acting in Jamaica with Bonnie Pugh at Beverly Anderson and so, so I know when I see a good production. The lighting was very good, the movements was good and the characterization was excellent. Um, especially in the last scene just before the shootout came. That is between um, the policeman who was disguised. It, it was a very good play, and at the same time, although hilarious with some very good moments, right. it was dramatic at times. Yes. And I would, I would recommend this play, Girly, to just about anyone. Humble Lion did a good job, and it's a Humble Lion production, and they're coming back with some surprise. So stay tuned and look for the Humble Lion production coming your way soon. Once again, from the Richard Green School, Patrick McDonald from Press TV and Link Up saying that Humble Lion have a hit on his hand. It's a sure thing to see girly. So make sure you're there. Look in the paper you're going to see because they're going to be a surprise.